Hey guys, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to take a video file and transform it into an animated GIF, kind of like what you can see on screen behind me. And we're going to do this all in Photoshop. So let's jump into it. Rightio, so we're now in Photoshop and the first thing I'm going to do is just preview the video that I'd like to turn into a GIF. And I'm just going to preview this here. You can see this is me just being a little bit of a clown and we're going to turn this video into an animated GIF. So what we can do is we can drag this into Photoshop or we can go to File, Open, Navigate to the video, click this and go Open and it may take a moment. And when it imports the video, typically Photoshop will switch to the timeline preview here. So it will add this down the bottom and you can see we have timeline checked there, or we can go to the menu icon in the top right and you can close this down if you want to. And we can hover over this point here at the top of the timeline panel and we'll just bring that down a little bit. Now at the moment, this animated GIF is going to be the size of the video. So quite large, we can check this at image image size and we can see the dimensions are 1920 by 1080 that's incredibly large for a gif a lot of gifs you see on the likes of facebook or twitter they're a lot smaller than that we can keep it large but it will increase the export time considerably and the file size as well so let's adjust the size and we can drop the percentage to 50 percent and we can see the dimensions change as well I think I'll make this even smaller for this tutorial, just so we don't have to sit through a really long export process. So we'll go for something like 30% and you can see here the dimensions are 576 by 324. And we want to make sure that the width and the height are linked as well. So if I click that, you can see it resets. So when we change the width, the height changes as well. Otherwise it will skew our image out of proportion. So let's click OK. Transforming a video layer requires converting it to a smart object layer. So let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, fantastic. So there we go. Ooh, look at those lovely pixels. So you may, may not want to go as low res as this, but as I say, I'm just doing this for the tutorial. And you can go down here and you can edit the video. You can crop it if you want to make it shorter. Me personally, I love to do the cropping of the video in my video editing software before I bring it into Photoshop, but you still have that option here as well. And when you're happy and you want to export your video as a GIF, well, first of all, let's just play it. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. Fantastic. What we're going to do is go to File and down to Export and Save for Web Brackets Legacy. And there's the incredibly long shortcut key. And it will take a moment to load. And it will load up this incredibly complicated looking dialog box. And we can zoom in using Command or Control plus or minus and we get some options here so from the drop down here we're going to choose gif or gif gif we don't need transparency in this and you can mess around with these other options here if you like at the moment I'm just going to keep the colors at 256 which is the maximum for a gif and we're going to keep the lossy nice and low so we don't lose any quality Convert to sRGB, yeah, that's absolutely fine. We've got the dimensions here. Quality, we'll just leave that as it is by cubic. And looping options, you can choose whether you want it to play once or forever. And typically with a lot of GIFs, you want them to loop over and over and over again. So we'll leave that at forever. And you can play it again here if you really want to, but I think we've seen enough now. We're good to go. Let's click save. And we'll save it in this same folder. We can call it da 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 GIF. And we'll click save. And this may take a moment, as I say, depending on the size of your GIF and depending on the size of your canvas in Photoshop will determine the file size as well. So ideally with GIFs, you want to keep them nice and light. Let's have a look at this one. 10.6 meg. Okay, so it's pretty, pretty sizable, but we can play this now. You can load it in a web browser or if you're on a Mac, you just press spacebar and you can preview this. And there we go. You can see we have our animated GIF made from the video file and it will just continuously loop forever and ever and ever. 
And there we go, that's how to take a video file, transform it into an animated GIF, all in Photoshop. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. A huge thank you to the people who support me on Patreon. If you'd like to find out more or become a patron, there is a link in the description. But as always, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, take care, and I'll see you next time.